Okay, so hopefully you've survived the process so far. The timeline so far since getting our offer accepted has been we delivered the first earnest money deposit. That was on like day one after getting an accepted offer. We scheduled a home inspection. We had a home inspection. This has all been within basically within a week. Meanwhile, all of this is happening. The attorneys have been hard at work behind the scenes working on the first draft of the purchase and sale agreement. That first day after getting your offer accepted, that's when your attorney will officially come into the loop. The seller's attorney will draft the first version of the purchase and sale. And then once they have that first draft, they're gonna send it over to you for review. And this is where you'll wanna have your attorney look at it and make any necessary revisions or changes of wording that you'll wanna add in. You'll really wanna make sure that your wording is tight and that you're protected. So it's definitely worthwhile having an attorney and it's really not that much more expensive so it's definitely beneficial to have an attorney on your side. The purchase and sale agreement will have all of the terms that were outlined in your contract to purchase or your offer. There will also be further wording of what will be included in the sale. This will also have any specific wording on what will be included in the sale. For example, um, the washer and dryer. Uh, this is where you get that further level of negotiation where your attorneys will be going back and forth until you have a finalized purchase and sale. Uh, the agreement will also note how the home will be delivered at closing. Once the purchase and sale agreement is signed by both parties, you're officially under agreement. This is where you would go ahead and deliver that second earnest money deposit. It's almost time to celebrate, but not quite. We still have one major hurdle in the form of financing. Mm -hmm. 